Hey everybody, how you doing today? Well, we're back at my home track, Iowa Speedway in central Iowa. And yes, I recently got my A license and we're in the Monster Energy Cup cars today. I'm running the UPS number six and I've qualified third. I've run this uh, track three times now this week uh, in this car. The first two times I just drove around in the back to get a handle on the car, a feel for the car. Uh, I know the Iowa Speedway fairly well after running the uh, street stocks and the uh, Tour Wheeland Modifieds in it. And I feel pretty comfortable at the track, which is why I feel a little comfortable here now running uh, hard and for points. The third time I raced the track, I did start in fifth. I was going to finish fifth, and on the last lap, I spun out myself in turn two. Not a whole lot to say about today. It's just time to go out there and do some work. Do your job is nice and smooth. Remember, we've got to be here at the end of this thing in order to make anything happen. Earl, make sure you're doing I hear you, Chad, because like I said, the last race, I was in fifth, spun out, coming out of two. Okay, so I don't have a whole lot of experience in this car. I had my A license for a brief time last season, season 201. This is season 202. And I'm not too uh, concerned about keeping my A license, but now that I've got it, I'm going to run a limited schedule. I don't have a lot of the tracks that these cars run at. Uh, I have, I'll buy them as time goes by, as I get credits. So anyway, here we are. Uh, Iowa Speedway, UPS number six, Monster Energy Cup car in NASCAR. Let's rock. Hey, cars off. Be ready. Be ready. Okay, I got a good start and I'm going to maintain third position going down the back stretch. Easy, easy on the throttle on these cold tires. Ooh. 27 almost got into eight there. All right, lap one. And guess what? I'm going to be running a whole bunch of different lines today. If you watch my previous videos, uh, especially with the street stock, when the tires are cold, I have found that I have to run the middle line, the middle groove. Otherwise, when I come out of the corners, I have a tendency to apply a little too much uh, power and spin out. All right, man, let's get ready. Go get this thing. Do this. Okay, here we go. Coming down for a restart. I'm still in the third position. I get a decent start, maintain my third position again. I have no idea how this is going to play out. Uh, you know, I've got 150, 100, 200 laps in this car at this track. I'm fairly comfortable with the track, as I said, but I am not very comfortable with this car as I have uh, run it so little. Well, so far so good. Maintaining third position. We've kind of strung out a little bit here in the top 10 positions. I've fallen off the leaders just a little bit, but I'm holding my own against third place, uh, fourth place right now. The preferred line here seems to be the middle groove. However, guys, we'll dive down to the yellow line as the tires wear. I have a really hard time maintaining momentum through the middle line because like in the street stock and the wheel and tour mod, I was right down on the yellow line. So I've kind of had to unlearn that habit. I kind of got that sense in the other three races that I ran here at Iowa in the cup car. Okay, 
Well, we're on lap 11, and the fact that I have not been passed by a half a dozen or more cars, uh, that, that gives me some confidence and some good, a good feeling. Red Bull car is going to take me. I'm not going to fight it too hard. I'm going to drift up a little bit and let him have that. It's way too early to be uh, pressing the issue, and with my lack of experience compared to me, probably most of these guys in the cup car, I'm going to take it easy. The goal of this race is to not wreck anybody else or myself. That's it. That's it. And three car takes me. I go way high in three. I did not intend to do that. In the cup car here at Iowa, I'm going to call Iowa here kind of a momentum track. Uh, for lack of a better example, kind of like Talladega. You get in your rhythm and you get in your momentum, everything's fine. You get out of that rhythm or out of that line and wow, you fall back big time. Okay, I've dropped in behind the number three Red Bull car in fourth position. Got a little bit of a lead about a second, 1.3 seconds on the uh, uh, fifth place car, car number eight. One through four, we're pulling away just a little bit here. Now, sometimes I have a tendency to run better when I'm following people. I'm following their lines, I'm trying to match their acceleration and braking points, and I am braking a little bit here at Iowa. I'm kind of staying in that middle groove. They went down low now, one through three. So as the tire wears and gets heat into it, you can go down a little bit lower. But again, like I said, for the most part, the preferred line seems to be that middle line through the corners and then sweeping out to the wall. Well, you could pretty much throw a large blanket over positions one through four. Then there's a gap back to the fifth place car. All right, I'm feeling pretty good here. The car seems pretty stable. I'm not overcooking it too bad. Well, I do just a little bit there. But uh, I'm, ooh, the second place car got a little squirrely. But I'm learning, I'm learning how to do this here. I stay in the middle groove there that time through one and two. I seem to be able to maintain the leader's speed. I'm gonna dive down here and take a look on number three, but I'm probably not going to be able to hold it. He's got the RPMs coming out of four and just pulls away. And that's that's something interesting to remember. So they go low in one and two, and they stay in the middle groove in three and four. Okay, I'm going to have to remember that. Now the three goes all the way down to the middle. He's going to try what I tried last light, last lap. But no, see, the outside groove powers away. Well, we're on lap 20. And again, throw a blanket over one through four. I'm in fourth. I'm feeling pretty good. There, the number three car is going to try the inside line again. And, oh, we got a little loose, so... I'm in that middle line. Number five car, he's out high again. Ooh, ooh. I came in a little hot, but I held it. Fifth place car number eight is making a little time on us. During this point in the race here, I have this feeling that I'm being held up a little bit by positions one through three. But again, I sometimes have a tendency to run a little bit better when I'm following people versus when, say, I'm leading or whatnot. Yeah, number eight is definitely making time on us. We've had a couple lazy spinners that have not brought out the caution, 
So we are going to be dealing with some uh, cars that have come in for tires and lappers. One through three has been occasionally getting a little dicey, but then they pull back in the line and, and maintain. I think maybe that's what the eights is kind of hanging back there thinking, hmm, I'll just let you guys mix it up and maybe get into a wreck and I'll gain a position or two. And frankly, that's what I'm kind of thinking too here in fourth place, but uh, wow. Okay, we've got an extended run going on here. As these tires wear in and build heat, you kind of get a little faster with the car even though you're actually running slower lap times and what I mean by that is you can get into the throttle a lot sooner without the worry of the rear end coming around all right one through four we've stretched uh, stretched it out a little bit about a car length in between each car things have kind of quieted down here The reason I chose the UPS paint scheme, uh, I've always been a fan of Dale Jarrett. He ran that for several years, uh, back in the 90s, I believe it was. And I have worked as a seasonal worker for UPS this last peak season during the Christmas rush. And they have called for uh, seasonal help again this summer due to the virus with the uh, overwhelming number of people at home and ordering stuff online. Uh, they're called PVDs, personal vehicle drivers and I will be driving my 2008 Ford Expedition around packed with packages delivering them to people's homes. I've been through most of the paperwork and hopefully we'll start very soon here with them. Okay, we're on lap 29. You can see up ahead we got some lappers and some guys that have pitted. Whoa, I washed way up. I missed my corner on that one big time. Almost hit the wall, but not quite. That allows the fifth place car number eight to pull right up next to me, right behind me. As these laps wind down, I have a feeling he's going to be able to come up to me pretty easily. Ooh, I get real close to the 18, almost wash up. I have to get out of the accelerator hard. That lets the 8 get right up to my bumper. I think he's going to wait until we get past this 18. He is. Ooh, I touch the apron there, and then I'm going to wash out just a little bit. Well, I've fallen off quite a bit from positions 1 through 3. One lap and just really fell back. I kind of went down to the yellow line there, but I couldn't hold it as I accelerated off, and here comes the 8. He's going to take a look. And then decides against it. I'm in that middle line. He's going to stay low. You can see him in my rearview mirror. What's going to happen going down the back stretch? Well, ooh, I brushed the wall. I powered off real nice, but I brushed the wall. Light contact, 0x. Okay, eight's taking a look on the inside one more time, and I, I'm just all screwed up from that wall hit. See, I lost my momentum. I lost my line. He makes an easy pass. I'm doing a lot of experimentation here with these lines, being not very familiar with this car. He's going to take the middle line, so I'm going to kind of follow him through. Will we be able to catch up with uh, the leaders, one through three? We just got to get stable and smooth here. Lap 35. Very long extended run. I think the longest run I had in the previous races was about 20 laps. Twenty-four 
I'm thinking to myself right here, wow, could we go caution free? What are these tires going to be like after uh, 65 laps? I had just right side tires checked for the next pit stop, but I have changed that to four tires. I didn't expect this long green flag run. Well, the blue car behind me, you can see in the mirror, that's a lap car. That's number 17. I believe he has come in and gotten tires. He's, he's coming up on me hard and fast. When he gets to me and wants to go, he's a lap down. He's not a position. I'm going to let him go. We get right up to my bumper there and then thinks better of it. Number 24, lap car goes high. Me and the 8 get by him. Halfway, believe it or not. Wow, this is uh, happening real quick. I've dropped, dropped back about four car lengths on the 8, but pretty much been hanging with him. I, I'm real pleased with my performance so far. With my lack of experience in this car, I, I would imagine that I'm running about 90% ability in the car. Meaning that if I had a lot of laps, a lot of time, a lot of tracks in this car, I'm probably 10% off of what I could be doing. This is kind of a, a lower strength of field. I believe it's the third split of three in this race uh, time slot here on Saturday night. There the 17 gets by, not a problem, he's not a position. Working lap 41. Well, the eight's pulled away from me a little bit. I'm being real conservative here as these tires wear out. 24.641. I've got four seconds on the sixth place car, so I'm pretty comfortable in fifth right now. Mm, I brushed the wall again. No points, no X. That sounds kind of a uh, bear to deal with. There we go. Lap 43. Lap 43, we get the caution. Okay, it's time for tires. You do not need fuel for this 75 lap race and I have fuel unticked. I would like the car to lighten up in the rear so it's not as uh, heavy in the rear, so maybe uh, you can get on the accelerator a little bit harder and that rear end won't come around. I found that to be the case in uh, a couple of the cars, so I doubt anybody's gonna take fuel, so it's just four tires. The good thing about running those uh, two races where I just hang out in the back, I practice my pit stops every single caution. We had quite a few in those races. Let's see if I can nail my pit box. I have a tendency to overshoot it. No, a perfect stop. All right. The eight cars right behind me. He came in just ahead of me, but I get out just before him. Hmm. He might have taken fuel. I'm not sure. But I also think sometimes iRacing throws in a random bad pit stop. I've had pit stops that, for some reason or other, took way too long when they shouldn't have. Uh, one to go. You're on the outside, my man. Hanging out. 
Okay, I'm starting in fourth place because I got out of the pits in front of the eight. Usually I hate being on the outside line, but here at Iowa, that doesn't seem to be as detrimental as some other tracks because uh, especially the way I like to run here in the middle for the first few laps at least on these cold tires. Well, that turned out to be about a 34 or 35 lap run. What are we going to get this time around? Are we going to go to the end? Okay, not a bad start in that middle lane. I'll be able to power off and keep the 8 and the 10 at bay for now. I did go down a little lower than I wanted, but I was easy on the throttle off, and you can see that by the 10 coming out on my outside there. I'm way down lower than I'd like, but look at that throttle control, just light, light, light. What's going to happen? His RPM's going to pull him out ahead of me easily, along with the 8 and the 2. No, no, no. Here we go. All right. Caution. So when this shakes out, I should be in sixth. Nobody came in and pitted uh, because we just started and we only had a few laps. Twenty to go. Hey, 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 hey! That car just blinked out. He's gone. He must have disconnected. I'm supposed to start in six, but the outside line is going to come up, take that spot, so now I will start in fourth. Wow. He's gone. He's not coming back. He's gone. Okay, I'm actually going to be in fourth on this restart. And hey, you know what time it is? Hey, the car is off. Be ready. I'll be looking up and ready now.
five, four, eight. Okay, I got a really good restart. Uh, it appears that in the very short run, I've got a little bit more than the number eight car does. Ooh, I brushed the wall again. Zero X again. Hey, am I gonna get away incident free? But anyway, as we're rolling here, he's uh, tucked up behind me just a little bit. I've fallen back from one through three a little bit. to go. The 8 has come right up behind me, about a car length back. Can I keep him at bay for 10 more laps? We both ran the middle through 1 and 2 there. He's uh, diving it in a little bit harder. He gets right up to me within a car length, but I'm able to power off. I'm gonna hold him at bay these last 10 laps here, these last eight laps, as much as I can, but I am not going to fight him. He's stronger than me in the long run, and I think his car's gonna come to him Ooh, he washes out a little bit there. I gain a couple uh, car lengths. But right now in fourth, if he gets by me, that puts me to fifth. That is a win for me in this car. I mean, so I'm not going to fight him and possibly ruin both of our races. I'm going to hold him off as much as I can, but I'm not going to fight him. So what I'm going to try to do is run the line that he wants to run and hopefully take away his momentum and not allow him an opportunity to pass. So he's dropped back about a car length or two. Okay, okay. You can see one through three right ahead of me. I doubt if I've got anything for the third place car. I'm kind of overdriving it. I need to smooth out a little bit more. Five to go, five to go. All right, the eight got a good run on me that time. That corner was ugly for me and good for him. He looks inside, I'm gonna stick on that middle line. Then I, I'm paying attention to my rear view mirror and I wash up a little higher than I wanted. He's gonna take me going down the back stretch. That's fine, okay, that was my mistake. He took opportunity. I'm now in fifth. One and two have really stretched out their lead over the third place car. I've got a second on the sixth place car. Good job, buddy. Two more, man. Come on. Two more to go.
white flag. All right, four more corners. I'm solidly in fifth place. Just make these last four corners. And I'll have a top five at Iowa in the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup cars. Here we go, out of four. Ooh, I wash up a little bit, but you know what? I've got it, got my top five. That's a win. For me, that's a win. Wow, all right, I feel really, really good about that. Good race, good job. Thank you very much, Chad. All right, top five. Finish at Iowa Speedway in the cup car. I am ecstatic over that. And no incident points. Tires are great. There wasn't any issues with them at all. All right, man, that was a good, good run for me. All right, guys, hey, thanks a lot for coming along on the ride, and we'll see you next time.